Hi everyone, Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly tip for your best next move, where I help you have more agency in your work, acknowledge your capacity to act, and see what you can do right now. So during the last few months, I've heard from many of you that you often feel just worn out, not simply from the anxiety and stress of working through the pandemic and all that means for you professionally and personally, but also because many of you have taken on more work during this time. <clears throat> the way we work in this virtual environment has changed. And that often means taking on more work to offload our teams. But we also take on more work because there are increased demands now on leaders from many different stakeholders, <clears throat> both inside, <clears throat> excuse me, and outside the company. And with that comes projects and initiatives that we all have to manage. Look, I know many of you are high achievers. You want to say yes to additional assignments that will stretch you, that will add to your portfolio as a leader and to your contributions in the organization. And that's great. But that doesn't mean you need to burn the candle at both ends and wear yourself out. Here's a relevant scenario that I'd like to share. One of my clients in a large tech company was asked by a member of the executive team to take on a new high visibility project enterprise wide that came out of the pandemic. She was flattered because this was something she felt strongly about and could get excited about leading. But she also worried about how much additional work this would be on top of everything else she was currently managing. She felt stuck, paralyzed, thinking of the large scope of this project and not sure how to respond. She wanted to say yes but couldn't figure out how to do that and not bury herself in more work. Well, after a while, she decided to think about what it would take for her to feel confident to say yes to this project. She knew she needed support, so she asked for it. She took a simple but small step to ask if some other talented people in the organization could be part of her project team. This approach would give her the strategic role she was best suited for, while giving others an opportunity to contribute as well. The answer was yes, she would get the help she requested, which gave her the confidence to take on this project, but also gave other people excitement about joining her in this project. So instead of getting paralyzed thinking of the broad scope and demands of the project, she took that first step by asking herself, what's one thing I can do now to move this project along? She used the agency she had to act, and in the process was not only able to get this important project going, but perhaps as importantly, she used her strength spotting skills to engage others who could contribute. And as a result, she built capacity in them and herself. That's a win for everyone. So here's my tip. You don't have to go it alone during this time. <clears throat> and this is a mentality that we tend to develop in times of stress and uncertainty. We just hunker down and bowl through what's in front of us. When you're faced with a scenario like the one I shared, think about who can help you take that first step to making the progress you need. You are doing them and yourself a favor. I want this to be a year of momentum for you, one of possibility thinking where you take advantage of the agency we sometimes forget we have. So that's my tip for the week. Let me know if you have a real world situation you're dealing with and we'll hash it out here in a future video tip. All right, everyone, I'll see you next Monday. Have a great week and take care of yourselves.